Hello everyone, myself Dr. Raksha Vaidya and in this video I have covered the topic concept of disease and health and I have said some MCQs uh, related to this chapter concept of health and disease. So now start the video. So, first question is definition of health given by the WHO include which of the following dimension except? So, option A is a social, B physical, C mental, D emotional and E economic. So, answer D is, option D is correct answer, D option emotional. Question number 2 is a standard of living according to WHO include all except? Option A income, option B sanitation and nutrition, option C is level of provision of health and option D is the human right. So option D is the right answer, human right. Question number 3 is living standard of people is best assessed by the option A is the infant mortality rate, option B is the maternity, uh, maternal mortality rate. Option C is a physical quality of life index and the option D is a death rate. So option C is a correct answer, physical quality of life index. Question number 4. Human living standard can be compared in different countries by the option A is a HDI, option B is a PQLI, Option C is a HPI and option D is a DALY. So right answer is a HDI. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 5. Human Development Index doesn't include. Option A is a mean years of schooling. Option B is a life expectancy at age 1. Option C is a real GDP per capita. And option D is a adult literacy rate. So option B is the correct answer. Life expectancy at age 1. Question number 6. Human development index value range between option A minus 1 to plus 1, option B is a 0 to 1, option C is a 0 to 3 and option D is a 1 to 3. So option B is the correct answer. 0 to 1. Question number 7. Which of the following is a mortality indicator? Option A is a life expectancy. Option B is a notification rate. Option C is a DALY. And option D is a better dot over ratio. So option A is a correct answer. Life expectancy. Question number 8. Expectation of life free of disability is known as the Option number A is a Park Index, Option B is a Smith Index, Option C is a Civilians Index and the Option D is a Life Index. So, Option C is the correct answer. Question number 9. Which is the best? Option B is a Disability Adjusted Life Year, Option C is a Dependency Ratio and Option D is a Morbidity Data. So, Option B is the right answer. Disability adjusted life year is the best index for the burden of disease. Question number 10. Which one of the following is not a socio-economic indicator? So, life uh, option D is the correct answer. Life expectancy at birth is not a socio-economic indicator. Question number 11. Virulence of disease is indicated by Option A is a proportional mortality rate Option B is a specific mortality rate Option C is a case fatality rate And Option D is the amount of GDP spent on control of disease So Option C is a case fatality rate Question number 12 is a health indicator are used for Option A is a health status of community Option B is a requirement of health need Option C is a assess rate of infection And Option D is a to meet basic need So Option A is a right indicator uh, Option A is a right answer Health status of community is a health indicator Question number 13, silent epidemic of the century 
so option d is the correct answer alzheimer disease in this uh, century has announced as a sli uh, silent epidemic question number 14 which one of the following doesn't represent a submerged portion of the iceberg option a is a diagnosed cases under treatment option b is a undiagnosed cases option c is a pre symptomatic cases and option d is a career sub clinical cases so option a is a right answer and diagnosed cases under treatment question number 15 the natural history of disease is best studied by so option d is the correct answer cohort study is a natural history of disease is best studied by the cohort study question number 16 a period preliminary to the onset of disease in a man when the disease agent has not yet entered but uh, uh, men but the factor favoring its interaction with human host exit in the environment is known as a pre pathogenesis period so option b is the correct answer question number 17 major involved in sentinel surveillance include all of the following except the option d is the correct answer identifying cases free of the disability question number 18 is a zero incidence option a is the elimination of disease option b is the eradication of disease option c is the elimination of infection and option d is the eradication of infection so option a is the right answer zero incidence it means elimination of disease Question number 19 analysis of routine measurement is aimed at detecting changes in environment option a is a monitoring option b is a surveillance option c is a isolation and option d is a evolution so option a is a correct answer monitoring question number 20 missing cases are detected by active surveillance passive surveillance sentinel surveillance and the monitoring so option c is the correct answer sentinel surveillance missing cases are detected by the sentinel surveillance question number 21 sentinel surveillance is for broader district option b is a for malaria surveillance option c is a effective sanitary surveillance and option d supplementary to routine notification so option d is the correct answer supplementary to routine notification Question number twenty-two. In India, which disease is near to elimination? So, option A is a tetanus, option B is a rabies, option C is a polio, and option D is a mumps. So, option A is the correct answer, tetanus. Question number twenty-three. CAD primordial prevention is what? Option A is a lifestyle change. Option B is a coronary uh, coronary bypass. Option C is a treatment of CAD, and option D is a none. So correct answer is a none. Twenty-four question number twenty-four. Quarantine period for yellow fever in India is six days. Option B is a one week. Option C is a ten days. Option D is a two week. So option A is a correct answer. Six days quarantine period for yellow fever in India is a question number twenty-five. Which one of the following is the primary prevention? Active treatment, vaccination, screening, and rehabilitation. So option B is the correct answer. Vaccination. Question number twenty-six. Prevention of emergence of risk factor is option A is the primordial prevention. option b is a primary prevention option c is a secondary prevention and option d is a tertiary prevention so option a is a right answer primordial prevention question number 27 iodine salt supplementation is a option a is a specific protection option b is a primordial prevention option c is a decrease of deformity and option d is a secondary prevention so correct answer is a specific protection iodine salt supplementation is a specific protection but the vaccination is a primary prevention question number 28 level of prevention that include the specific protection option a is the primordial option b is the primary option c is the secondary and option d is the tertiary 
सो करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी प्राइमरी प्राइमरी लेवल ऑफ प्रिवेंशन दैट इंक्लूड द स्पेसिफिक प्रोटेक्शन क्वेश्चन नंबर 29 कीमो प्रोफाइलैक्सिस इज प्रिवेंशन टाइप इज ऑप्शन ए इज द प्राइमरी ऑप्शन बी इज द सेकेंडरी ऑप्शन सी इज द ट्रेजरी एंड ऑप्शन ऑप्शन डी इज द क्वार्टनरी सो ऑप्शन ए इज द राइट आंसर प्राइमरी प्रिवेंशन कीमो कीमो प्रोफाइलैक्सिस इज द प्रिवेंशन ऑफ प्राइमरी टाइप ऑफ प्रिवेंशन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी कीमो प्रोफाइलैक्सिस ऑफ मलेरिया इज प्रिवेंशन इज द ऑप्शन ए इज द प्राइमोडियल ऑप्शन बी इज द प्राइमरी ऑप्शन सी इज द सेकेंडरी एंड ऑप्शन डी इज द टर्शरी सो ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर प्राइम क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी वन आर सी डी टेन ट्रू इज ए रिवाइज एवरी फाइव इयर ऑप्शन बी इज द कंसिस्ट ऑफ टेन चैप्टर ऑप्शन सी इज अंट इन थ्री वॉल्यूम एंड ऑप्शन डी इज अस प्रोड्यूस बाय द यूनिसेफ सो ऑप्शन सी इज अ करेक्ट आंसर अरेंज इन थ्री वॉल्यूम क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू आर सी डी टेन हैज हाउ मेनी चैप्टर So option C is a correct. Twenty one. I think the ten has a twenty one chapter. Question number thirty three. Vital ICD is reviewed once in every year. So option D is a correct answer. Ten years. In every ten ten years, vital ICD is renewed. Question number thirty four. Which of the following is characteristic of a single exposure common vehicle outbreak? Question number A. Frequent uh, secondary cases. Question uh, option is B. Severity increase with increasing age. Option C is explosive and option D is the cases occur continuously beyond the longest incubation period. So option C is the correct answer. Explosive. Third, question number thirty-five. Which of the following is not targeted in Millennium Development Goals? Option A is eradicating extreme poverty. Option B is forecasting global partnership for development. Option C is reducing child mortality, and option D is improving healthcare delivery. So, option D is the right option, right answer, improving healthcare delivery. So, in MDGs improving healthcare delivery is not targeted. Question number thirty-six. Global eradication of smallpox was done on. Option A is the twenty-six October nineteen seventy-seven. Option B is the eighth May nineteen eighty. Option C is the seventeenth March nineteen eighty. And option D is the seventeen April nineteen seventy-seven. So option B is the correct answer. Eighth May nineteen eighty. The global eradication of smallpox was done on the 8th May 1987.